Checkboxes are buttons in a form that the user can click to make a selection. So these buttons are either checked or unchecked, on or off. Though we can define appearances for other states as well. For example, when the user rolls over the checkbox, it can change its appearance. I can start with any frame, so I'll just draw out a new frame. And in the Buttons and Forms panel, I'll check Type, Checkbox. And when I do, the frame that I started with is grouped with a check mark that fits inside of it. And I have Appearance options inside the Buttons and Forms panel. I can set up to six different appearances for the checkbox. These will determine how the checkbox looks when the PDF user interacts with it. For example, there are states for Normal, when the user is not interacting with the checkbox, Rollover, when the user rolls their cursor over it, and Click for when they click it. And since a checkbox can be either on or off when the user does those things, there are on and off versions of Normal, Rollover, and Click, making for six potential appearances in all. In this form, I set checkboxes for each of the courses, so the person can indicate which ones they want to enroll in. And notice that I made the checkboxes really large so that they cover the entire course name. That gives the user a nice big place to click, not just this little tiny checkbox. The way that I did that is I double-clicked on the checkbox, and I just dragged out the frame. The other kind of form object we're going to look at in this movie is a radio button, and it acts basically like a group of checkboxes that are related to one another. Only one of the checkboxes in the group can be selected at any time. On my pasteboard, I'll just delete that checkbox, and I'll press the L key on my keyboard to get my ellipse tool, and I'll drag out a little circle. I'll hold Option or Alt and drag down a couple times to make three of these. I'll select them all, and in the Buttons and Forms panel, I'll choose Radio Button. Same as with the checkbox, there are six appearance states that you can set for a radio button to control what it looks like in the PDF when the user interacts with it. So for each of these, I can select Normal On, Off, Rollover On, Off, and Click On, Off. Also, with both checkboxes and radio buttons, you don't have to draw them from scratch. You can choose from the panel menu in the Sample Buttons and Forms library. Of course, you can also tweak any of those to make them look the way you want to. In this forum, I set up radio buttons for things like male and female, yes and no, where I wanted people to make just one choice. These two objects are a radio button and these two. Also, I want to say a couple of words about the way your form objects will appear in Acrobat or Reader. For things like text fields, combo boxes, list boxes, and signature fields, don't bother with any fancy formatting in InDesign. Only the solid stroke and the solid fill color will get passed into the PDF. No drop shadows or other effects, no stroke styles, no gradient fills, and so on. Also, don't bother with trying to customize the font used inside any of these objects. InDesign isn't going to pass that information on to the PDF, so you're going to end up with the Acrobat default font anyway. Now let's export this to PDF and take a look at the form to see the checkboxes and radio buttons in action. I'll export it to my desktop, call it checkboxes, and I'll export the page with the form. So here I can select a gender, I can select courses, and I can say yes or no. In this movie, we saw how to create checkboxes and radio buttons, both of which allow the user to click and select an item. The difference is that radio buttons act like a set of related checkboxes, where the user can select only one thing at a time.